And so I'm going to ask all the kids to come and join me up front, and we are going to see uh, what is in our box and see if there is something that we can learn about God, about his word, uh, from what's in our box. So we'll see this morning. What, is, what do we have? Oh, wow. Well, you didn't just give me something about a Bible. You gave me a story, a picture book Bible with stories. Are they just story? Are they stories? All oh, let's see what stories we have. Oh wow, yeah, this are stories in this picture book Bible that go all the way back to Genesis, all the way back to creation, and they take us all the way through Jesus and what he has done, Paul's missionary journeys, and all the way to the very last book of the Bible. What a great book. I'm glad that you have this book in your family because it is good for us to learn the stories of God's word, the stories of what God has done. And you know, when I'm reminded of this, that you know, there are lots of different stories in the Bible. So many, I don't even know if I've gone to seminary three years. I don't even know if I know and can remember every single story in the Bible because there are lots of them. But this reminds me that in the Bible, there's actually just one story. All the little stories are a part of one big story. And it is the story of God who's our creator coming to us. Even though we have sinned against him, even though we have rejected him, it's the story of God coming to us and making us his children, of him making the broken creation new and him making a part of it. And so even as you hear the little stories of the Bible, I hope you remember the big story of the Bible of what God has done for you in his son, Jesus. Great sermon in the box this morning from the picture Bible. Hey, hold on there, Junia, because I think I'm going to send the box home with you.